Hey all, this is Gaurish and welcome to the winning side. So all of you will be waiting for the start of the IPL. But there is another cricket uh, series that will be starting tomorrow. Which will be played between Indian women and England women. This is a three match ODI series. And in which both teams will like to perform their best. Because India were thrashed by Australia by 3-0 margin in March. And they would like to get back momentum and form into their ODI team and win few matches if possible the series. Whereas England after performing exceptionally well in first two matches of the tri-series uh, involving uh, India, England and Australia. Uh, next three matches they performed miserably and eventually lost the final of the tri-series to Australia by big margin. So they would also like to come back into the form and perform well in this ODI series. So both teams have a lot of things to play for in this series. And I am hoping for a good contested uh, series uh, over here. So let's discuss a team for this uh, first match uh, which will be played tomorrow. So in wicket keeper section I think all three options uh, that are given over here will be included in the starting 11 of the both the teams uh, where Tamir Baumit I think is must pick for you she's a high grade player but she's a very good batsman so I think you should go with him but if you want to save a few credit points then someone like Amy Jones or Sushma Verma both can be a good option Sushma Verma come to bat at around 7-8 position uh, so she will not get that many uh, balls to face but if India's top order does, doesn't perform that well then Sushma Verma can perform or get uh, enough deliveries to uh, get that impact in your Dream 11 team. Amy Jones most probably will come into the middle order to bat uh, so if you want you can go with her but if you want a safe option then you should go with Tami uh, because she is a very good batsman. In batting section uh, for England, Heather Knight is a doubtful starter for this match. She is injured right now. So I don't think she will start this match. So on a safer side, just exclude her from your team. Uh, you should rather go with Daniel Watt and Fran Wilson. Daniel Watt was in very good form in 320 series. So she is a must pick for you. Fran Wilson is a middle order batsman and in 50 over format. A lot of wickets fall, uh, especially in women's cricket and therefore Fran Wilson can uh, play a beginning if she get a chance. Apart from her, Brian Smith can also get a chance to make her debut in this match because Heather Knight is not playing. Uh, so uh, you can go with her but uh, she is a risky choice. For India in batting section, I think Smriti Mandana and Jemima Rodriguez, these two are must pick as both are in very good form. Apart from these two, I think Harman Preet Kaur and Mitali Raj, these two are certain starter. So you have four safe players over here to select from. Veda Krishmarthi is a little bit risky player over here because her recent form is not that good so she may be get dropped. In all-rounder section for England, I think you cannot go wrong with Jenny Gunn and Natalie Seaver. Natalie Seaver is uh, one of the, uh, the most important uh, player of this England side uh, and one of the most prominent all-rounder in women's cricket. So if you pick uh, her, you can even make her captain or vice captain of your team. Jenny Gunn may not give you that many points with bat but uh, she is a very good baller uh, especially her slower deliveries are very good and she can pick uh, wickets with cl in cluster for india i think puja vastakar is becoming a very good all-rounder she opens the bowling took one or two wickets and she also comes to bat at number five six position so she can contribute with the bat also and she is available at considerable lower credit uh, point so she is a good option for you apart from her you can go with Dipti Sharma uh, she is again little bit risky player if uh, someone like uh, Veda Krishnamurti plays into the team uh, if India thinks that they want to consolidate their batting then they can go with Krishnamurti instead of Dipti Sharma Dipti Sharma herself is a very good batsman uh, but India uh, sometimes drop her to make a room for Veda Krishnamurti so it's up to you. I think she will play. Therefore, I have selected her in my team. 
here there is a chance that Devika Vaidya may get a chance to play in tomorrow's match as she performed really well she actually scored a hundred in practice match against the same England lineup uh, so uh, she is in a very good form she is making a comeback after one year uh, but uh, considering her recent form I think she will get a chance to play in this match and she can be a trump card for you in mega contest in bowling section for England Anna Shropsol did not uh, play a single match in the tri-series because of the injury that she was carrying but she uh, played well in a practice match and she is a fit now so I think she will surely start this match and she is their main, bats, uh, main baller and if you remember in that uh, World Cup final uh, that India lost to uh, England she took those 6 wickets to uh, derail India's chase uh, so she is a very good baller you cannot go wrong with her so please speak her apart from her I think you should go with Sophie Exclusion as Alex Hartley the performance in recent time is not that great and we, uh, with uh, she absent I think Sophie Exelson becomes a main spinner for England women's team in for India in bowling section I think Poonam Yadav is a very good choice for you at a low credit if you can manage that point for credit then you can go with Zoran Goswami uh, she can take a wicket and also if India's top order or middle order doesn't perform that well then she can come to bat and tong few uh, balls uh, so she can give you points in batting also so it's up to you if you want to go with Zulun Goswami or Poonam Yadav I have a uh, few credits left so I had to go with Poonam Yadav and she's also a good baller so that's okay so this is my team for this match. I have selected Smriti Mandan as a captain as she is in a really good form and then Pooja Vasakar as a voice captain because she is an all-rounder and can give me a points in batting as well as bowling. Apart from these two, Daniela Watt who is in very good form. Natalie Sea was one of the important players of this England squad and Tammy Beyond Mead can be a good option for you as a captain or voice captain. And if you want to take a risk then you can go with Vaidya. Uh, if you select her in your team or even Jemima Rodriguez can be a good option for you another safe player and option for you can be a Mitali Raj because her recent form is not that good so and she is a high credit player so not many players will select her or even if they select they may not select her as a captain or vice captain so if you want to take that risk you can go with her as a captain or vice captain in bowling section if you feel that Anna Shopsol can repeat that performance against India from that World Cup final then you can go her go with her as a captain or vice captain because she took I think six wickets in that uh, match so if she performed like that then she can be a trump card for you it's up to you what kind of risk you want to take if you want to play safe then Smriti Mandela, Daniel, uh, Watt, uh, Tammy or Natalie Seaver are the good options for you for captain and vice captaincy so this is my team for this match for more such videos subscribe to our channel the winning side and please like comment and share this video thank you for watching this video bye